Hi, Assalamu alaikum everyone. How are you guys? Alhamdulillah. I'm actually like, we drove back to Hargeisa to get more supplies. And you won't believe it. Today is the first day that it's raining. I can't believe it. Look at this rain, guys. I hope you guys come on live and chat with me because this is the happiest day since I've been here. Alhamdulillah, it's raining in Hargeisa, which means that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bring more rain inshallah to all the other regions that have the drought. But look you guys, it's raining so hard. Listen to the rain. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. This is beautiful. I, I literally would walk in the rain. Assalamu alaikum sabah, how are you? I came out literally from Al-Qasai. I literally came out guys from taking like a quiet time because everybody naps in Hargeisa and I'm not kidding like wallahi look how beautiful the rain is mashallah mashallah I'm, I'm actually gonna walk in the rain right now because I don't care <laughs> Alhamdulillah. guys do you know how many of our people are praying for this beautiful rain to come down on them and it's coming down on my face right now wallahi welcome to Hargeisa guys Rob, mashallah, bada'ya, alhamdulillah, guys. Everybody make dua for all the nomads before my phone gets damaged. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, let me clean the phone. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Alhamdulillah. I can't believe this. So, please, all your duas are coming together for the people of this beautiful area. Please, guys, make dua for everyone. Make dua for all the nomads that are out there waiting for this rain. I'll turn the camera around. Please make dua guys, this is so powerful. I have never, honestly like, all the time that I've been here, it's been hot, dry, humid, you name it. And this afternoon, literally, the entire city of Hargeisa is drenched in rain. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ease the suffering of our people everywhere. Uh, feel the rain guys, feel the rain, feel the rain, feel the rain. Ya Allah, thank you so much. Allah, I feel like for the past two days I've been saying Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, Allah is going to make a way. All the nomads I met, that's all they kept saying. And look right now guys, it's pouring down rain in Hargeisa. And I'm like so drenched in wet. I want to show you guys more rooftop view. Oh my God. Ah! Hold on guys. Mashallah, mashallah. Let me clean the camera. Sorry guys. I'm just so happy right now. Look. The beautiful city of Hargeisa is drenched in rain. In rain. Alhamdulillah. I can't believe it. Alhamdulillah. Ah, I better get upstairs now. The winds are getting stronger. Hold on guys. The winds are getting stronger. My phone is getting blurry probably. Let me go inside and clean the phone. Oh my god, subhanAllah. How are you guys feeling? How are you guys feeling? I've cleaned the phone. You guys can see me okay? Alhamdulillah. Hey Sabah, Assalamu Alaikum. How was Umrah? Sabia, Salam, New Jersey. How are you, sister? Phyllis, how are you? Alhamdulillah, guys. This is an amazing day, wallahi. I literally, for the past few days that I've been traveling, I kept thinking, like, something good is coming. You know, whenever you feel in your heart something good is about to happen, Wallah Adim, I feel like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala always delivers. And today is like one of the happiest days since I've been here. Um, so Sarah is saying that Abdul Rahman is awaiting the last anal. I don't know what Allah yet because we don't have, I, I just literally, it just started pouring out of nowhere in Hargeisa. And usually with, what I've been told is that the rain starts probably in this side and goes to the east. So inshallah khair, you know, like it's, this is like, it doesn't matter where it's raining because everybody is being affected by the drought. So every city that gets rain, Alhamdulillah. Just say Alhamdulillah, you know? That means the temperature is changing. Isn't that amazing? I love it. I love it. 
So guys, I'm not in Mouse Annals. We just came back to Hergesa because we needed to get, sorry, we needed to get more supplies. So I'll show you guys. We need to get more supplies so that we can go back out. We're going to be going back to El Gabo, inshallah, and getting more food to the people of El Gabo. And this is it, guys. Allahu Akbar. It's raining in Hargeisa. Raining in Hargeisa. Allahu Akbar. I literally feel like, you know what? I have this beautiful desire always to like run in the rain. <laughs> it's a weird thing, but honestly, like, I can't. I want to do it right now on my phone. Oh my gosh. Alhamdulillah. It feels, you know what? Because the weather is so nice here, the rain feels so good on the skin. <laughs> it feels really amazing. So, I'm all wet now. But thank you so much guys for joining me live. I thought you, I'd show you guys this beautiful scene in Hargeisa. And it's just amazing. Amazing. Alhamdulillah. I hope it doesn't stop raining for hours. I hope it doesn't stop raining for hours. So check it, whatever city you guys are in right now. Um, if you're in the greater regions of Somalia, please tell me if it's raining in your areas, if you're noticing any weather changes. I started noticing the weather change from early this morning. It was feeling a little bit more cooler. And uh, it was amazing. Sabia, thank you so much. I love you. Thank you so much for this. May Allah give us, all of us, more strength to endure all the trials and tribulations we come across in life. And may we, may we be the people that work hard to make society better, and on top of that, make ourselves better. Because Allah Ta'ala is waiting for every single one of us to step up and change ourselves first, so that He can change the conditions of our lives and the conditions of our people. And I hope that all of you who are watching right now say, Alhamdulillah, that Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Ta'ala has given you life today, that you are breathing right now. You are watching me live on Facebook, and you're watching this amazing rain in the beautiful city of Hargeisa, and literally, my phone got all, um, sorry about that, my phone got all wet from me stepping out there. But just say Alhamdulillah, you know. When we go to Ergabo to deliver more food, it's going to be like more Alhamdulillah. We're doing good, guys. And all of you that are contributing, I'm going to be sharing an actual, because people ask me to share a hawala number to send money to. So I'm going to actually send that to everyone, inshallah, to, um, when the rain stops this afternoon. And then you guys can see that. But look at this. Allahu Akbar. It's raining. It's raining. And somebody asked me to speak Somali. Hey, Masood. Thank you so much. And, you know, it all takes all single, every single one of us to decide that we can be part of good in this world. So please, guys, whatever you can do, if you can help us Somalis, especially the nomads that have no one, that have no one out there, you can support them. We are getting ready to feed families for an entire month. Each family is a family of seven. And the food that we're giving them directly feeds them for an entire month. If we can help the next, I would say if we can start a campaign to do the next three months of feedings for all the nomads, especially the isolated areas of Sanag and Seoul and the corners of Betty, if we can start that, it's direct aid to the people. Imagine the organization ARC that I'm supporting because I believe in the work they do. A family of six a seven can eat for ninety dollars a month okay your ninety dollars ninety dollars entire month you could feed the family and guess what guys eighty one dollars of that goes directly to all the food so the p actual food package costs eighty one dollars the rest just covers the aid workers that distribute it imagine that there's no like no middleman in Nairobi sitting there cutting out the money that the people need to eat the real food this is going direct to the people and in timely fashion. Alhamdulillah. And now that we have rain coming, I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to keep giving us more rain for the people who depend on it every day, the nomads whose camels have been lost. They've lost hundreds of thousands of camels. They are just struggling to feed their families. They may not even have livelihoods. But Alhamdulillah, they are alive today that we can help them maintain themselves for the next few months. So please, I'm going to be putting up a link, inshallah, when, the, when it stops raining, but probably not. Hopefully no stopping of the rain, but inshallah, when we get to get a little bit later, we'll send out the link. Feed the families directly. We are the only organization, literally, the ARC that I've been supporting, they're the only organization that opened an office in the Seoul region, where all the nomads have been coming from every corner seeking food. 
Imagine that guys, only organization. And I say to you, every single one of you, if you think your life doesn't matter, just remember, it does matter. It does matter. You can do something. You don't have to sit around and wait for other people, you know? Today I had the opportunity to meet with all the ministers in this government and to talk about how we can give more support to the people. And that's what it's about, guys. It's about getting direct aid to the people. It's not about, you know, politics, taking people's rights away. It's not about setting up places where the people cannot enter to give aid. We are here to do the work because guess what? It only takes one person to start a change. And it could be you, okay? It could be you. So, inshallah, I pray all single one of you. You see the rain, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is doing his part always to bring joy and to change life. He gives life, he takes away life, and he's doing that right now. And you can see the rain is the evidence, guys. I hope all of you can now think about how you can take part and help. How you can take part. An entire family of seven can eat. And guess what? The money that you may even send, a lot of the nomads don't even have people that send them money from outside. Because guess what? They literally, like, they don't have any people outside and things like that. So the money that you're going to be giving will actually purchase the food and the food gets delivered direct to them. Direct to them. Okay? And that's what it's about. There's no middleman, no shipments getting lost, no shipments being resold in the markets. None of that stuff is happening. The ARC, a credible organization who has been helping Somalis since the 2011 famine, is here supporting the work and the people of Seoul and Seneg who've been neglected in this drastic climate change that's happening, okay? So all of you guys, do your part now. It's your chance now. I came here, I left my two kids. I came here to record videos. We've hired a great video crew. They're gonna be out here filming everything for everybody who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala puts in their heart to contribute. And guess what? That's your chance now. It's your chance now, guys. Step up, step up, step up. I'm not going to say anymore. I love you guys all for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Do the work because guess what? It all starts with you. It doesn't start with me. It doesn't start with anybody else. It starts with you. Do not do what you can and leave it to other people. We were able to feed 2,000 families. Please multiply 2,000 families by $90, okay? That is nearly $200,000 of aid we delivered direct to the ARC. And I would say, Alhamdulillah, that kind strangers supported this effort, helped me to donate this directly to the people. Do you understand what $200,000 does? It feeds 2,000 families, okay, of seven people each for an entire month. Now, I've done that. What are you going to do? Between the kind generations, uh, don donations of people around, and particularly, I would love to say, send a blessings out to a lot of my family members who contributed and everybody who's out there supporting. Say, Alhamdulillah, okay? You don't need to wait any for anybody to do something good. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward all of you for being good, for doing good, for giving back good, and for not complaining when you don't have something, when people lack the basic food to eat, water, milk to, see, to give to their children, okay? Milk to give to their children. I just heard today we left uh, the city of Yagori, Yagori, which is uh, about 50 kilometers from Las Anod, and literally they had five children die today. Five children died from, you know, like diarrhea and stuff related to lack of nutrition. So this n next package of food delivery we're doing is going to contain dates. It will contain um, more, uh, like, a, like, I think they call it, like a different corn for them to have. So a little bit more nutritious stuff that we're going to add to it because Ramadan is coming, inshallah. And then maybe this, some of the food can last them longer for energy. The nomads are getting tired from long days of walking. And dates are really good for energy and sustaining um, health. So, inshallah khair. Guys, if you're joining me live right now, I'm in the beautiful city of Hargeisa where we came back to get more uh, food donations um, from our headquarters here in, at ARC. And the beautiful thing is that this today, out of nowhere, literally, it started raining. So, it's raining here in this beautiful city, alhamdulillah. And... Uh, 
Welcome guys. I want to thank you so much for opening your hearts for doing something good for someone else. And um, let me get back on here. Sorry. Okay. So guys, I will inshallah put a link up. I want to thank you so much. I got drenched in rain. The most purifying thing today. This is like the highlight of my trip, I think. Getting drenched in rain. Alhamdulillah, anyways, thank you for joining me live. And inshallah khair. And um, like I said, follow the link. I will definitely post that. And don't wait for other people to do what you can today. Inshallah khair. Take care, guys. I love you. All the way from Hargeisa. Take care.